Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll get straight to the point. A couple of years ago, I turned 18 and I decided to go to the Rome Cinefest to allow myself to celebrate in a unique way. I luckily have an uncle and an aunt who live in Rome, so they put me up for the night. My birthday is on the 13th of October and the Rome Cinefest usually starts on the 17th. So a week after my birthday, I packed my bags and left for Rome where I'd spend four days. I wish I had stayed longer, but because I had to go back to school, I missed a lot of interesting events, including Martin Scorsese presenting The Irishman for its Italian premiere. But let's talk about what I didn't miss. So on the opening night, before the big red carpet happened, I went to see one of the guest speakers events. It was Ethan Cohen, mediated by Antonio Monda, professor at NYU and artistic director for the Rome Cinefest. You probably remember him in Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. Yep, that guy. Ethan Coyne gave an interesting uh, lesson. It was a retrospective on surgery in cinema and much more. At this point, I leave the auditorium as I head towards the box office to see if there's any availability for um, Edward Norton's Motherless Brooklyn. But luckily, it's sold out, so there were no tickets available. I say luckily because as I turn around, I spotted Frances McDormand walk across the hallway with some sort of bodyguard following her. It was incredible to see such an iconic star in flesh in front of me. I was surprised that not a lot of people recognized her. But at the same time, I admit that it was very crowded and you really needed to have an eye for that. So I'm speechless completely, but I'm brave enough to approach her. So I walk towards her. She notices me. It's kind of an awkward moment for a couple of seconds that I tell her how much I love her and respect her as an actress and I ask her to take a picture with me. A couple of seconds later I felt quite embarrassed because she rejected me <laughs> and I felt very sad that I kind of gave her the impression of being an oppressive fan who wanted to take photos and things like that and she, she told me clearly I, I, I don't do that I don't take photos with fans or people but she was so gorgeous and magnetic and she could see she could see it in my eyes that I was so happy and excited to meet her that she she told me I, I won't take a photo with you but I'll shake your hand <laughs> so she took my hands and she shook them in a way that I'll never forget one of the greatest actresses of our times shook my hand and I couldn't believe that I'd seen her in all the Coen Brothers films she appears in three billboards outside Ebbing Missouri and many other films she was standing in front of me. <laughs> now seriously, she's such a charismatic person, so strong and energetic as a character, and I was so happy to meet her. Never have I ever felt more motivated in my life to become a filmmaker. <laughs> Unfortunately, time passes and she leaves with her bodyguard. Those two minutes felt like an hour. <laughs> At this point, I go outside and I'm super hyped, ready for the red carpet and I'm still trying to process what just happened. I'm standing next to the gate of the guests to walk through and I can recognize some faces already. Edward Norton looked incredible. Um, he caught everyone's attention with his charisma and look and I was lucky to see his uh, close encounter event uh, where he discussed his um, career as a stage actor and screen actor and it was very interesting. Bill Murray is one of the most famous actors in the world and it's quite hard not to recognize him. <laughs> he was at the festival because he got the Life Achievement Award. And I remember that he was late the following day because he slept in at the hotel. Even Ron Howard showed up. He walked on the red carpet and he was at the festival because he was presenting his documentary about um, Luciano Pavarotti. I went to the close encounter with him as well, but I was quite far from him. But the only one who was close enough to speak to me was Wes Anderson. He's widely known for his eccentric and colorful style, and he'd easily stand out in the crowd. He's always wearing that unique kind of outfit that seems to be coming from one of his films. All we know it's the opposite. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect him to be this tall. He had to bend for the photo I took with him. I really didn't know what to say, so I simply told him that I adored his films. And the thing is that I had only seen the Grand Budapest Hotel at that time. <laughs> but I'm very happy that I said that. Because after I saw his entire filmography, I agreed 
and I adored his films. And he's such a nice person. I mean, y you can tell he looks like his films. And he's a master of cinema. And again, he was standing in front of me, an aspiring writer and director. Afterwards, but he thanked me for the nice words. It was the most placid thank you I've ever heard in my life. And with a smile on his face, he walked away. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is the story of how I met this great legend. I wish I had had an actual conversation with them. <laughs> it was incredible to stand in front of them and speak to them. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to watch more videos about films, um, if you're interested in some cool film suggestions, or if you're interested in my life as a film student and filmmaker in London. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.